today's lesson, we're going to take a look at converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. And we're going to do that in two different ways. We're going to use the traditional method, uh, where you calculate the mixed number. And then we're going to look at the pictorial method, where you actually draw out and see what the mixed number would look like, and then change it into an improper fraction from there. So we have the directions. It says, convert the following mixed numbers to improper fractions using the pictorial and the traditional methods. And we have four different problems. If you want to write these down, if you're doing this at home, go ahead and do that. And the first one is 5 and 1 third. Second is 3 and 3 sixths. Third is 6 and 3 fourths. And the last one, number 4, is 3 and 1 eighth. So let's go to it. So here's our first mixed number and it's as you can see it's got a whole number part the five right here the five is the whole number part and as a fractional part as well and that's the one-third so it's five and one-third and we want to change that into an improper fraction and sometimes you need to do that when you're multiplying fractions or dividing fractions it's helpful to have uh, your mixed number as an improper fraction so how do you do that well Let's look at the traditional way before we do the pictorial. Now, the tra traditional way, you look at the whole number, and that's five. So you have five whole. Um, it could be pizzas. It could be cakes. It could be anything that you want it to be. But you've got five whole. Uh, let's, let's use pizza just for an example. You have five whole pizzas and one-third of another. So if you look at the denominator of the fraction part, that tells us, if you remember from previous posts on fractions, we've talked about that quite a bit. So the three in the denominator tells us that three parts make up the whole, okay? So knowing this, we can multiply these two numbers, the five and the three. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to multiply the whole number by the denominator when we set, set up this improper fraction. Okay. And we're going to keep the same denominator the whole time. When I draw the pictorial method, this will probably make more sense as to why we can do this. So I'm going to multiply the whole number 5 times the denominator, and that would give us 15. So 5 times 3 is 15. Then I'm going to take that 15, and I'm going to add that numerator up top to it because we have one third of another pizza say in addition to the five whole ones so we're going to add that on so 15 plus 1 equals 16. so there we have 16 thirds is our improper fraction so that again is the traditional method that's the, the first way to do it you can use the procedure of multiply the whole number by the denominator and then add the numerator of the fraction part. And then you set it all over that denominator of 3. Okay? It's going to work for you every time. Now, if you wanted to draw a picture to represent all of this, we could do that. I'm going to move this over. And we look at that original fraction over there. I'm sorry, the original mixed number. There it is. We have 5 and 1 thirds. Uh, five and one third of another. So we need to show that as, uh, let's say, a pizza. Why don't we do that? Okay, so we have five whole pizzas. I'm going to draw those, uh, represent, represent those with circles. And you might be wondering why I drew six. Well, you have five whole pizzas and then one third of another. So I'm going to show that and our denominator tells us how to divide up those pizzas. Look at that. Our denominator of three tells us we need to divide these pizzas into thirds. And again with the math drawing, um, this one it isn't, I mean the, the pieces aren't exactly the same size really. Uh, to be accurate you have to have them the same size but for a math drawing it's just simply representing your ideas and uh, in a pictorial form. So, now we've got five whole pizzas. I'm going to shade in quickly. 
five whole pizzas. You can see each piece would be one out of three or a third. So there we go. There's four whole pizzas. And here would be the fifth. And then we have, we've taken care of the whole number. Now we have to represent the fraction part of five and a third. We'll just shade in one third of this pizza. So you can see I have five and one third pizzas. Well, to change that into a, an improper fraction, we have to just count up the number of thirds we have. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen thirds. And that's exactly what you have over here. You end up with the same answer, sixteen thirds. You just showed it in pictorial format. Now, if you're counting thirds, you can also count by threes. So if you look at each pizza, each pizza, <laughs> pizza has three equal parts. So you can you could do three times <clears throat> three times five would be fifteen whole, uh, representing the five whole pizzas. So there would be fifteen slices in five whole pizzas, and then you add the other from the third, and you've got sixteen thirds. So there's the answer to that. Let's try another. Again, with the traditional method, um, we're going to multiply the whole number by the denominator and then add the numerator to it. So we'll be multiplying 3 times 6 and then adding the numerator of 3. And we're going to put it all over 6. So let's do that. We've got 3 times 6 equals 18. But you thought that too, good for you. Uh, and then we're going to add that numerator up top. That's where we're getting the 3 from because we had 3 whole pizzas and then 3 slices out of another one. Where each slice is a 6. So we've got 18 plus 3. 8 plus 3 is 11. Carry the 1. And we've got 21 slices if it was a pizza. So 21 6 would be your improper fraction. And once you get the hang of this, it goes pretty quickly. Um, but it's always good to realize what the pictures would look like. So you, if you look at that mixed number again, let me just fix that 3. Got a, got a little messy on me. Well, I actually, one, up, one better than that. Let's rewrite it. All right, so we had 3 and 3 6 pizzas. Now, let's see. Well, why don't we draw them as rectangles? Maybe you have rectangular pizzas. So we've got three whole pizzas and three-sixths of another one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at that d denominator as six and I'm going to break each pizza into six equal parts or sixths. And I know that I have three whole pizzas, green pizzas. Ooh, that would be interesting. Oh, there it was two whole pizzas, three whole pizzas, again, representing the three over here in the mixed number. And then I have three sixths of another. And then if you counted up all of those, and they're really all divided into six equal parts, so you could be counting six. We've got six, 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, six. And yet again, come up with the same answer. Moving on to the next example. Six and three-fourths. So we're going to multiply that whole number six times the denominator of 4. That will give us, you're probably thinking that too, good, 24. And then we're going to add on that numerator up there. So 24 plus 3, 27. And then we set that all over the denominator. The denominator stays the same from the fraction part of the mixed number. So it will be fourths and how many? 27 fourths.
We'll show our pictures and we have to divide into fourths. Alright, so now we're going to show the pictorial method for that. And we'll show that, let's see, we've got six whole and three fourths of another. And we're all, and we're dividing by four. So, two, three, four, five, six. And then we have three fourths of a seventh pizza or cake, or whatever you decide. Bologna sandwiches, we don't know. So, but we do know that the denominator tells us to divide them into four equal parts because the den denominator was, or is a four. We're working with fourths here. So we have the six whole bologna sandwiches and three fourths of another. So we'll shade those in. Blue bologna sandwiches. Oh, they're multicolor, blue and green and red. Hmm. Maybe there's a little mold on them. Anyhow, there's four whole sandwiches. Five, six whole, and how much of the other? Let's see, look at that fraction. Three-fourths of another. So three out of four of a remaining or a seventh sandwich. So we've got... How many fourths? If you counted them up, we see each one is divided into fourths. So you could do 6 times 4 would be 24 plus the 3. And that's really, we're just proving the, the math work we did a little while ago. So there you go. You end up with 27 fourths. If you counted those all up, and again, the answer is the same. 27 fourths, and if you counted all of these up, you would count 27 little individual fourths. Next, three and an eighth. You probably know what to do right by now. So we've got the whole number but times the denominator. Three times eight. Eight times three is the same thing. Eight times three is 24. Plus the numerator. Giving us 25. And we set that all over 8 because we're dealing with eighths now. 25 eighths. And then for our pictorial, and if I'm going too quick for you, you can stop this video and catch up. So we've got three whole and one eighth of another. So we divide these, and generally they're the same size, but we, like I said, with math drawings, you're just representing your ideas usually. And those are fourths, and now we want to divide that again to match our denominator of eight. And we've got three whole pizzas. I keep saying pizzas. Maybe it's a jelly donut, I don't know. So you, all of these would be shaded in, representing there's one whole two whole jelly donuts, some cool frosting on them, three whole donuts, and then look to that fraction, it's three and one eighth, so you're probably thinking only one of those should be shaded in, if you were thinking that, awesome, good for you, and if you added those up, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Eight for each of the whole pizza, so it's eight times three would be twenty-four. Plus this one over here, and that would equal twenty-five eighths. And there we have it—the same answer once again. Twenty-five eighths. They should check out. There's eight slices in each pizza. Times three would be twenty-four. Plus that additional one would be twenty-five. And there we have it. So basically, you just multiply the whole number by the denominator. 
then add the numerator and write it over the denominator so you'd end up with an improper fraction. Thanks for checking out Mr. Meredith's EduBlog, and we will see you again next time.